Yeah, in continuation to that uh, compressible fluid flow, uh, now we would go to because we have done the relations of compressible fluid flow that what is the relation between pressure and velocity that how you can find out the pressure drop right from the Bernoulli's equation we have done it. So, we will now go to uh, the compressible fluid flow which uh, which we think. So, we go to the compressible fluid flow and uh, there there we go to now flow through nozzle right flow through nozzle uh, the best example is that you are whistling right you do whistle this whistle you do so whenever you are whistling this compressible flow through nozzles that also come into if you are in uh, if you are in industrial area then obviously you have seen or you have witnessed you have also come across that at certain interval maybe 2 o'clock in the afternoon or 10 o'clock in the night or 6 o'clock in the morning depending on the uh, shift changes the industrial belt they are also they they ring some siren and that sound you also have heard. Uh, unfortunately uh, or fortunately it should be both fortunately there is no such war and uh, during war at least we have seen that uh, to alert people there is a big siren that blows. So, these are all example of compressible fluid flow through nozzle right. So, then and this not only the, this is for air and uh, as we said you remember that uh, for milk uh, um, uh, homogenization for milk homogenization that high pressure milk is passed through a nozzle and uh, that slit orifice through that when it is moving then there is also that uh, high pressure to low pressure that pressure drop occurs. So, that is also one such example the flow through small hole orifice or slit things like that explicitly we have done also the flow through slit. Now, we also take care of the flow through nozzle right. Now, nozzle if you see it looks like this as you see from this uh, slide that nozzle is like this that from a high pressure right through a variable area a tip like this right and uh, this is one and another could be like this right. So, here the pressure is P in the this zone and in this zone at the tip pressure is P 0 or P outlet or P at the tip or P at the nozzle whatever you call right. So, this P is the pressure in the reservoir and P O or P 0 or P R outlet whatever you call that is pressure in the nozzle tip right. 
So, tip of the nozzle is like that. So, we name it to be nozzle flow. Right? Now, we know two relations between pressure volume. One is uh, for isothermal case that P V is equals to say okay, P V is equals to constant, right. This is for isothermal case for isothermal flow and for adiabatic flow we know P V gamma is equals to constant, right. So, where this is applicable for adiabatic flow, where this gamma is equals to the heat capacity ratios that is C p over C v or specific heat at constant uh, pressure and specific heat at constant volume. This ratio of that fluid right ratio of that fluid C p is the gamma right. Now, this situation that is high pressure P when it is moving from this big reservoir through a do you see variable area going to the tip right. So, deep this tip if we look at this is nothing but like this right. So, through this tip when it is passing from this P to P 0 this pressure is dropping right and uh, I do not know whether you have gone through refrigeration or not they are also or household refrigerator at the one best example is that how to household refrigerator which you come across every now and then there you have seen that in that household refrigerator after compressor there is a condenser and if you have the old uh, refrigerator then you might have seen that on the back side of this there is a there is a net kind of thing and that is called the condenser and this is of course a extended surface condenser fin tube rather and uh, from the condenser it goes to the expansion valve and this expansion valve is also a very small orifice through which from the condenser high pressure it goes to the evaporator through this nozzle and when it is going from this high pressure to the um, through the nozzle to the evaporator then because of the pressure drop this process is known as throttling that the temperature drops substantially depending on from which pressure to which pressure you are allowing to drop and also on the on the on the refrigerant you are using but this is a, again a, a very uh, hand on experience, experience which you come across every now and then at your even residence. So, that is what so high pressure to low pressure it is being uh, expanded or it is from because of the nozzle it is becoming the pressure drop. Now, we will find out what is the relation between this pressure and the velocity of the fluid flowing through it. Now, again this fluid can be uh, gas or it can be any liquid right. So, depending on what you are using uh, obviously, your system also will be and also we have we have told that there could be two processes one could be isothermal that is that constant temperature or there could be adiabatic that is there is no heat flow that is adiabatic. So, these two conditions can also come up right. So, let us look into how we can develop this right. 
So, if the flow is uh, adiabatic, so gas after being released from the pressure side, high pressure side is likely to undergo a temperature change which we said that throttling, we gave the example of household refrigerators, right. So, this high pressure to low pressure, so that undergoes a drop in temperature and this is called throttling and this throttling brings down the refrigerant temperature from uh, condenser temperature to the evaporator temperature, right. And in that case, if it is adiabatic, if the flow is adiabatic, then let us see that P V gamma is equals to constant, right, where gamma is the heat capacity ratios at constant pressure and constant volume, right. So, if it is P V gamma is constant, then we can write the P is equals to C constant V to the power minus gamma, right? Or we also can write dP over dV is equals to minus gamma C V to the power minus gamma plus one, right? Gamma the C minus gamma dP over dV is minus gamma. C V to the power minus gamma plus 1 or we can write D P is equals to minus gamma C V to the power minus gamma plus 1 into D V, right. So, this D P over D V this relation we can write. Na? Now, if we apply Bernoulli's equation at the tip that is here. So, if we apply Bernoulli's equation here, so applying Bernoulli's equation, at the tip of the nozzle, at the tip of the nozzle, if we apply Bernoulli's equation, then we can write d p over rho integral plus integral v d v ok integral v d v right uh, is equal to 0 assuming that there is no other and uh, since that uh, we are considering at the tip so, the d z factor if you remember in the earlier classes we had shown Bernoulli's equation and there we had said that there are many factors like uh, f that is the frictional head loss if there we considered or all losses they came into the terminology as f right. So, we neglect them we also neglect that there is since at the tip. So, there is no vertical or z factor also. So, we can simply write that Bernoulli's equation at the tip of the nozzle is d p over rho plus v d v integral of this 2, right. Or we can also write that v d v, right, v d v integral of that is equals to integral of d p over rho minus because this has changed right. So, d p over rho this we can write again as this minus is there and earlier one minus was there. So, if we substitute this d p from here then it is integral of gamma c v to the power minus gamma plus 1 right into d v right. Then we can say 
then we can say that we have now uh, integral of v d v that is equals to plus gamma c v to the power minus gamma plus 1 d v right. So, if we now integrate within limit, so integral of v d v this is between v is equals to v and v is equals to v 0 corresponding to capital V is v and this is v 0 gamma c v to the power minus gamma d v right. So, then this is velocity right this v is velocity and uh, as you uh, uh, have seen as we have told earlier that this capital V is the specific volume. Okay. Then we can write that this v is equal to this then we also can write that uh, if uh, this is uh, integrated this v d v v to v 0 v d v is equals to that this gamma and c are constant. So, gamma c between v to v 0 right gamma c v to v to v 0 v to the power minus gamma d v right. So, we can write our one thing let us look into this d p was minus gamma c v to the power minus gamma plus 1 d v right. So, when we wrote d p over rho when we wrote d p so we had let us look into that d p was equals to minus gamma c v to the power minus gamma plus 1 d v right. So, when we wrote this v d v ok 0 to that and we substituted d p with this because it was v d v if we remember it was integral of v d v minus d p over rho right. So, that minus d p over rho this came to minus gamma c v to the power minus gamma plus 1 d v and because of this 1 by rho 1 v was also there which we have omitted. So, 1 v was also there. So, this comes to equal to gamma c. So, v to the power 1 minus plus 1 minus 1. So, this comes to equals to gamma c v to the power minus gamma d v right. So, if we substitute this in this then here c v to the power minus gamma plus 1 then we should also write 1 v that was b due to ga rho. So, that comes gamma c v to the power minus gamma d v right. So, v d v v to 0 gamma c v to v 0 v to the power minus gamma d v gamma c being constant it is out of integration right. So, this on integration we can write gamma c divided by 1 minus gamma right into v 0 to the power 1 minus gamma minus v to the power 1 minus gamma right. This is on definite integral v 0 to the power 1 minus gamma and v to the power 1 minus gamma by 1 minus gamma right. So, gamma c is that. So, we can write this is or v, v square by 2 between v to v 0 this is equals to gamma c by 1 minus gamma 
into v 0 to the power 1 minus gamma minus v to the power 1 minus gamma right or this is nothing but v 0 square minus v square by 2 is equals to gamma c by 1 minus gamma v 0 to the power 1 minus gamma minus v to the power 1 minus gamma right this we know right so now compared to v 0 what is v 0 v 0 is the velocity at the tip here right what is the velocity at the tip v 0 and what is v v is the velocity in the interior in the in the in the in the your um, reservoir so in the reservoir where p pressure was p and velocity is v this velocity is much much negligible that to compared to v0 because v0 area is very very small compared to this area so here the velocity is very negligible so compared to v0 v being very very small right uh, v compared to v0 v is negligible So, we can write v 0 square by 2 is equals to gamma c by 1 minus gamma into v 0 to the power 1 minus gamma minus v to the power 1 minus gamma right or v 0 square is equals to gamma c by 1 minus gamma into v 0 to the power 1 minus gamma minus v to the power 1 minus gamma right. So, we also can write that v 0 is equals to under root under root v 0 it was v 0 by 2 right. So, v 0 is 2 gamma c right v 0 square by 2. So, it is v 0 square is 2 gamma c 1 minus gamma v 0 to the 1 minus gamma v to the 1 minus gamma right. So, we can also write that v 0 is under root 2 gamma c over 1 minus gamma into v to v 0 to the 1 minus gamma minus v to the 1 minus gamma right. This we can write. Therefore, we can also write that this this is true. This is true. We can also write um, uh, this c instead of c. C u was equals to p v gamma, right? So we can write under root two gamma. C is P V gamma divided by 1 minus gamma to V 0 minus V 1 minus gamma 1 minus gamma right. So, if we take this V inside then we can write under root 2 gamma divided by 1 minus gamma P and this V when it is going inside then it becomes gamma plus 1 minus gamma. So, V 0 only right. So, oh, this was P V gamma. So, we can write that this becomes equals to uh, this V 0 gamma 1 plus uh, plus gamma plus 1 minus gamma. So, V 0 minus V right. This uh, when 
when we are putting it inside when we are putting in inside then obviously then this has to be uh, one p right so v to the power gamma if we take inside then it becomes v0 to the power 1 minus gamma by uh, v right and this becomes v to the power 1 minus gamma by v to the power 1 minus gamma to the power 1 minus gamma right because this we can write under root 2 gamma p divided by 1 minus gamma right. So, we are taking it inside. So, that means we are introducing divided by v to the power 1 minus gamma. So, if we write v to the power 1 minus gamma v to the power 1 minus gamma here right v to the power 1 minus gamma here then uh, here also we have to write v to the power gamma into v to the power 1 minus gamma right into v 0 to the power 1 minus gamma minus v to the power 1 minus gamma right. So, if that be true then this v to the power 1 minus gamma can go inside. So, that we can write under root 2 gamma p by 1 minus gamma this let it be 1 minus gamma and inside of it is v 0 by v to the power 1 minus gamma minus this is v 2 by v to the power 1 minus gamma right 1 minus gamma right and in outside we had v to the power gamma into v to the power 1 minus gamma. So, this um, gamma plus gamma minus gamma goes out. So, it remains only v. So, that is why it is p v into v 0 by v to the power 1 minus gamma by v to the power 1 minus gamma v to the power 1 minus gamma by v to the power 1 minus gamma. So, this is equals to under root 2 gamma p v by 1 minus gamma into v 0 by v to the power 1 minus gamma minus this is 1 right. So, 1 minus gamma by 1. So, this also we can write under root 2 gamma p v or instead of v gamma p by 1 minus gamma over rho p by rho into v 0 by v to the power 1 minus gamma minus 1 right. So, this is the velocity at the tip. So, if we can find out the velocity at the tip now for that what we need we need to know the pressure we need to know the density we need to know the uh, gamma that is coefficient uh, specific heat to uh, at constant pressure to constant volume heat ratio heat capacity ratio and and v 0 and v that is the specific volume at the tip and specific volume at the inlet or somewhere inside. So, if we know this then we can tell that the velocity at the tip v 0 can be can be determined right knowing the of course, these parameters which we are talking about right. So, this is the velocity at the tip. So, velocity at the tip of the nozzle is this right 2 gamma p by 1 minus gamma by into rho rather into v 0 by v 
to the power 1 minus gamma minus 1 right. Now, of course, this all we can convert in terms of in terms of pressure also. This can be written as 2 gamma p over 1 minus gamma into rho right. Now, V 0 by P V gamma is constant right. So, P 1 V 1 gamma is equals to P 2 V 2 gamma right. So, that means, P 1 by P 2 is equals to V 2 by V 1 to the power gamma right. So, that means, we also can write that V 0 by V to the power 1 minus gamma is nothing but P P 0 by P P 0 by P to the power 1 minus or this is gamma minus 1 by gamma right. This can be written as gamma minus 1 by gamma ok. 1 minus this can be written as uh, 2 gamma P by 1 minus gamma into rho. So, this is uh, converted into P by P 0 to the power 1 minus gamma by gamma because this is that. So, P by P 0 to the power 1 minus gamma by gamma is that. So, we can write this minus 1 was there. So, we can write that V 0 V 0 is equals to 2 gamma p by gamma minus 1 into rho under root under root 1 minus p 0 by p to the power gamma minus 1 minus by gamma right. So, the this velocity at the tip is this right. 